make of that lead? It must be uh, to get the win, but disappointed with the way he's had played at times. Um, it was a horrible game. I thought it was a really uh, poor advert for the top of the competition, but you know we're sat at the top of it, so um, you know, I'm not going to complain. Was it one of those where, with the ball, it was as bad as it could get, but without the ball, it was yeah, I thought, fantastic? I thought, yeah, I thought we trended really well. If, you know, if there was a plus to come from tonight, we, we had to be physical on an edge, both edges, and I um, felt we did that. Um, in terms of decision making on the edges, we, we didn't have a lot to make, but we got the ball to the edges early, and you know, in Curry and in Atkins in particular, um, you know, they, they make things happen. So we had to uh, we had to defend really tardy, you know, in contact there, and uh, you know, that was, um, was probably one of the only good things to come out of tonight's game. Twenty handling errors between the sides at half time. What did you say at, at the break? You know, um, it's funny. I, I said at half time was contemplating sending them out and just just running through some. Some skill drills, um, you know, ball in hand, and um, you know, I've just been told they did that. <laughs> so their their half time team talk must have been very similar to ours. It was it was bizarre. It was, you know, it was just a, a really 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 strange game, and it's, you probably won't see one like that for a long time. Was it the magnitude of the occasion? Or I think. Oh, hands I, I think yeah. I think the you know they the came in after warm up and said the ball's like a pound of soap and. Uh, you know, there was plenty of contact at the ball as well, and plenty of hands in there and. Uh, I don't know, I'm trying to make a lot of excuses for him, I suppose. Considering the adversity, especially because so many of those errors were inside your own half, the fact that you defended it so well, particularly against the Warriors inside, that have been you know, free flowing in the second Yeah, yeah, and as have we. You know, yeah. As have we, I just can't put my finger on it. Um, but yeah, it was a, a really, really scrappy affair. But you know, one we've, we've come out on top of and, and we've conceded you know, two tries. You know, um, I won't say luck, but you know, opportunist tries. Um, so, so to have done that is is obviously pleasing. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on the positive. When things are going like that, you need your big men to step up, don't you? And two tries, obviously, from Matt Mitchell, which is fantastic. Yeah, I thought, as well, yeah, I thought, thought both of them. I thought for Tully as well, Sling for Tully, and I thought he was, um, you know, really strong for us tonight. I think he was one of the only blokes on the field who didn't make an error, so he needs a pat on the back. Um, but yeah, no, they they carried the ball really strong. Um, but yeah, you know, it gives us something to work on this week, that's for sure. I suppose the biggest thing you've prided yourself on, as well as you've been really good in tackle, that togetherness and that tight knit unit really shone through in the second half. Yeah, yeah, it did. Um, you know, they're, they're as baffled as, as I am in the change rooms at the end there. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's there's so much more to come for us. I'm just disappointed that we couldn't have done it tonight because it, the stage was set, I suppose. But um, again, I'm not, I'm not whinging about um, winning. How the body's feeling in terms of injuries? Yeah, good. Just, just Seeker, I think, got a, a bang on his calf. Um, so once he came on and, and again, did, you know, defended really well. He came up with a couple of players, you know, kick players where he's had to kill a ball. And, um, you know, they was quite big at, at, at the moments in the game, I felt. So, um, no, he's all good. Do you think whether the game was refereed, particularly short tenor? No. I, I don't know. I don't, honestly, it was just a, it was a horrible you know, game of rugby league to watch. And, uh, that Wayne Bennett's over the moon, he came in and flew in for that one. You've got a big turnaround ahead of Castleford. What, what do you do to kind of arrest that? <laughs> um, you know? Yeah, you know, we've obviously got some hand eye and some skill drills to go through during the week. Um, but, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be better at Castleford, I can, you know, I can guarantee that. They're, they're a good side. And, um, you know, one thing they've done under Darrell um, since his time there, he's always responded to a poor performance. And, you know, he was obviously scathing of how they went last night. So, you know, we're expecting a you know, a response from them, and you know we're going to have to be, you know, um, tired to get a result there. Are you amazed at how you can play so so bad in attack and still come out with the win? It's I'm amazed. Down, um, I didn't think we could have played as you know with as many errors as that um, as as a team. Um, you know, we smashed some records tonight. I think. Just on Ellisley, how important is someone for this kind of influence next Thursday, a game like that? Yeah, he's just physical, doesn't he? He, just, he, he, he plays really physical. Um, and, uh, you know, his, his contacts, some of his contacts sound different to other players. You know, we can hear him in the stands, they actually sound different to, to other blocks. Um, so he's, he's been phenomenal for us, and, you know, we're over the moon. You know, he's been on the field as long as he has um, because when, when he's been coming back on and giving his lifts uh, or he's been starting and laying the platform he's, um, he's, been, he's, he's been one of our best that's for sure
אבל יש לנו...